Sagi, what's good? Welcome to your reading. Today I'm gonna look at your past, present, and future. I'm gonna pull one card for your energy, and then I'm gonna pull three cards for the most likely outcome, okay? Universe, spirits, and guides, give me three shuffles for the sign of Sagittarius. Alright Sagittarius, so your overall energy here is the tower in reverse. You could be tried it, trying to avoid an argument or trying to avoid some type of meltdown with you and somebody else or just in a situation in general. In the past year we had the Page of Cups, the Four of Wands in reverse and the Justice card. Somebody made a love offer, okay, some type of offer here, but I felt like it may have not been accepted or just didn't go down the way somebody thought because we have the four of wands right next to it which talks about frustration or somebody feeling unwelcome. Justice here, balance was possibly brought into a situation whether it was you and a person or just the situation in general. In the present here we have the knight of coins in reverse, the two of coins in reverse, and the king of coins. Somebody was being stubborn here. There was some kind of stagnancy. Then there was chaos or worry around a situation. And then stability, or this could be somebody that you're dealing with, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. We'll have to see. In the future here, we have the Two of Wands, the Sun in Reverse, and the King of Wands here. Somebody wanted to, it, somebody will try and take a risk or somebody is gonna make the decision to make a risk, but they're overly optimistic about it way overly optimistic about it, possibly overly enthusiastic. And then we have the King of Wands in reverse here. This is somebody, this can talk about a male chauvinist or, you know, just somebody being a bad leader, or somebody irresponsible, somebody with a serious ego problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Universe Spirits and Guides, why is the tower here for Sagittarius? Clarifying the tower in reverse, we have the Five of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Cups. Somebody wants a resolution to a problem. Somebody does not want drama, somebody doesn't want conflict, but what they do want is love here with the Ace of Cups. You or somebody else may want a new beginning, okay? It's almost like trying to make things right with somebody, um, trying to avoid drama with love here. All right, in the past, we have the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here for Sagittarius? We have the Page of Cups clarified by the King of Coins and the Four of Coins in reverse. Whether this is you or somebody else, somebody could have let go of another person, okay, and uh, made an offer towards you. If not, then this is somebody letting go of something, like let bygones be bygones. Could be dealing with an earth sign here or a water sign, could be any sign. Okay, somebody may be letting go of BS or letting go of a person and making an offer here. All right, why is the four of wands in reverse here for the past?
We have the Four of Wands in reverse, clarified by the Ten of Swords in reverse and the Justice in reverse here. Somebody may be, um, Somebody may be frustrated that somebody else is trying to get over, or somebody was, this is past. Somebody may have been frustrated that the other person was trying to get over this. But there's a sense of imbalance within this. It's almost like somebody may have felt unwelcome um, coming towards the other person because the person was just trying to get over this. Somebody could have felt like the other person wasn't balanced and didn't really want anything to do with it, okay? And uh, I was kind of just like, yeah, I'm trying to get over this. I'm trying to heal. This is somebody trying to heal and it's like maybe somebody comes back here. Something of the sorts. Hmm. Some type of lack, lack of balance between the both of you or whoever this was. It's like somebody's, somebody's, um, it's like, s somebody's offer wasn't welcome or wasn't, like somebody didn't want it because they were trying to heal because they felt like maybe this connection made them feel imbalanced and it was just not taken in the way that the other person wanted it to be accepted. Does that make sense? Why is the justice here? We have the justice clarified by the Eight of Wands and the Seven of Swords here. I feel like this person was waiting on the other person. Um, they may have been waiting or there may have been some type of lack of communication. Somebody may have felt like the other person was lying, cheating, stealing. I feel like somebody wanted to bring balance into the situation. I don't know if it was successful though, because we have the tower here at the bottom of the deck, but there was a lack of communication when it came to this Seven of Swords issue. There was a lack of communication. It's like somebody trying to make an offer without addressing the underlying issues here. Somebody trying to bring balance into a situation without addressing the underlying issues here. It's like somebody was trying to skip a step I don't think that worked out well because we do have the tower here. So I don't know who this is. Why is the Knight of Coins in reverse here? The Knight of Coins in reverse is clarified by the Seven of Coins and the Two of Swords. Somebody isn't, um, somebody isn't doing shit. Somebody isn't doing shit because they feel like they can't see something for what it is or they're trying to figure out how to invest their time but they can't move because they feel like they're not seeing things clearly. It's like they can't move forward in the situation. They may be trying to be patient with themselves, but it's like they may be ignoring a, 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 an issue here. They may be ignoring an issue of that they need to put in more work, but it's like they're just not, and they're, they're just being stubborn about it. It's like somebody, it's like this is like somebody knowing that they need to invest time or they need to put in the work towards something, but it's like they're ignoring the facts and they just uh, prefer to remain stagnant and stubborn instead, which then in turn with the two of coins right next to it is causing chaos here or causing some kind of worry or causing issues. So why is the two of coins in reverse here?
All right, so we have the two of coins in reverse clarified by the wheel in reverse and the king of wands in reverse. Somebody is not letting their, somebody's letting their ego get in the way of change and this is causing an issue between the both of you. Somebody has a resistance to change. Um, I feel like somebody's trying to take the reins in the situation or they think they're, they're taking the reins, but really they're just putting on this ego possibly as a resistance of change. And this is what's causing problems here. This is what's causing problems here. This is all about somebody avoiding the fact that they need to put in some type of effort or avoiding that they um, you know, are not putting in enough effort or ignoring the fact that they aren't putting in enough effort by just sitting, standing there, whatever. And it's causing issues because somebody is resistant to change. This is somebody like trying to take the lead but not having the ability to because they're not, they're not changing. They're not, they're stagnant here. Why is the king of coins here? Okay. So we have the tower at the bottom again here. We have the king of coins clarified by the eight of swords and the three of cups in reverse. This is like, I feel like this is you. Um, this is you standing in your stability, trying to be stable with the eight of swords in reverse here. This is you trying to free yourself from a toxic situation. It's like somebody comes back and it's like you entertain it, but it's like it re you realize it's something that you really don't want. It's something that you really don't want because somebody is resistant to change. Somebody is ignoring that they need to put in more work in this, but they're not doing shit. This is what's causing the issue and you are focused on your stability. You're freeing yourself. You realize that this is really not what you wanted. It's like you entertain it and then you're like, mm, okay. No, thank you. That's what that looks like to me. With the tower at the end. I don't, I don't feel like somebody's happy about it. Okay, yeah, I feel like this here in your energy here, I feel like somebody is trying to bring things back around, trying to find some resolution because they want a new beginning, but it's like you're trying to avoid it because it's like you know. Why is it two of wands here for the future, for Sagittarius? Okay, wow. So I feel like this is you here. I feel like uh, we have the two of wands in reverse. I mean, not in reverse. We have the two of wands clarified by the nine of swords in reverse and the hierophant in the upright. So this is you making the decision to um, see things for what they are, uh, to try and be optimistic about life, to take what you know and have an a higher a higher understanding from it. And you're making decisions, you will be making decisions based off of a good place. This is somebody who has a positive mind frame, um, but that also has a deep knowledge of the situation at hand and what is actually going on here. You could be very traditional or you may feel like this person is, okay? Um, but you're, you're gaining a higher understanding and it's coming from a uh, a good place. It's coming from a higher place of knowledge here. And I feel like you'll be making decisions and taking risks based off of that here. Because you may realize at the star in reverse here that you, there's just no faith in this. There's no faith in somebody or something or you feel, you don't feel hope in something. Okay. I don't think it's within yourself though, because this is great energy. Why is the sun in reverse here for Sagittarius? We have the sun in reverse clarified by the nine of wands and the queen of wands in reverse. So this is somebody that still wants to fight for this, I feel like. That may still want to fight for a situation, but it's like they are... It's almost like they're 
fighting out of, they're fighting to prove something. They're fighting to prove something. It's like they want to prove something to you or prove something to themselves. And this is somebody almost being a fool, like being foolhardy almost. Like, ha, I know I can do this, but they're, they're fighting from it from the wrong place. So why is this King of Wands in reverse here? Okay. So we have the King of Wands clarified by the Page of Coins and the Four of Cups in reverse. This is somebody getting upset because their offer is not being accepted. Um, this is somebody that feels the need to take control of something. I feel like um, if this is you here making decisions based off of a higher knowledge or you know trying to see the light at the end of the tunnel or trying to think positively. You know, it's like somebody wants to fight for this, somebody comes in, but they're doing it, they're doing it from the wrong space, they're doing it from the wrong headspace, um, or they're just doing it almost, I don't want to say out of spite really, but it's like almost to prove, prove to themselves that they can do it. Because the sun in reverse here can talk about ego, and then we have the king of wands in reverse here, which can also talk about ego and over, -dom over domineering personality. And uh, I feel like it's because somebody sees something for what it is, somebody sees that these are just breadcrumbs. I feel like there is a rejection here, unfortunately, okay? And I feel like it pisses somebody off. But I feel like you don't wanna fight because you're in this tower in reverse energy, okay? What is the most likely outcome here for Sagittarius? We have the Three of Cups, the High Priestess in reverse, and the Two of Wands. I feel like um, this person tries, or you have another chance with this person, or this person may talk to you, or whatever, uh, but you're not taking any risks because you feel like a secret comes out or um, you may just not see the potential in this and you're not taking any risks here. I don't feel like you're taking any risks here, Sag, honestly. Okay, um, but anyway, Sagittarius, that is what I had for you. I love you so much and I'll catch you later, all right? Peace out.